<laughs> Actually, the road looks really cool at night because the entire walkway is lava. Ah. Lava. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with sunflowers, but I thought it looked cool. Okay. This week's video is all about a project I have been working on this week, which is Sunfield City. Sunfield City exists in the same world as Pumpkin Town, our first Minecraft video, and then the floating Chinampa City, which was our second um, Harvest Town. And so this is our third Harvest Town, which is um, located right across a lake from uh, the Chinampa City. And it is. The idea behind it is these these people settled in a completely flat plains filled with sunflowers. And so the idea is they created their entire town and their entire way of living. They shaped it around them having sunflowers. This is their main source of food. One of the um, main uh, products that they have in their town, so like all their terracotta. They have concrete floors and they also have glass. In the town, it's all colored with um, it's all colored with um, sunflowers, and so you'll see on some of the buildings they have red, orange, and yellow um, glass. This is because in real life there's like you know there's darker sunflowers, so there's like red and orange sunflowers, and so it's like it's sort of going away from what you can actually do in Minecraft, but the idea is. They they're taking different strains of sunflowers, so they're taking like burgundy sunflowers, and they're making red glass out of it. And so, out in the fields that we have, they're they're really compost piles set up on top of uh, um, scaffolding, but I've made but I've set them up to be like fake uh, beehives. Until we have beehives in the game, this is like as good as I can do. But the idea is that they collect that the um, one of the big things that they do uh, aside from just harvesting the sunflowers themselves is that they also farm the honey so that so they're beekeepers in this town and so the honey from the bees and the sunflower seeds and then things such as the actual leaves on the sunflowers these these are edible the entire um the entire flower, the entire sunflower, is edible. And so different cultures have taken sunflowers and, and used different parts of it as edible food over the ages. And so this city has like a very similar concept to um, the Chinampa city. And their idea was they live on a freshwater lake and so their entire um, way of living is set up because they live on a lake. And so this city is the exact same. They they use yellow so much in all of their buildings. Their flag, if you see their flags, it is the same yellow, orange, and red color scheme because they just use sunflowers for dyes and they just use sunflowers for eating other than honey. And so all of their fabrics, all of their clothes, all of their terracotta, their um, glass, all of it is colored with sunflowers. Looking at the town from above, you'll see that it looks like a giant sundial, the way they've set up the um, the walkways in town. And so if you're facing, if you're on the six o'clock um, leg of the sundial when you first come into town from the lake, the first building, the first building on the right is Daylight Eatery, Salad, Seeds, and More. And so this is the restaurant where they come in and they can buy sunflower seeds, sunflower bread. This is, um, ding ding, ding ding, help me please. And so this is where people in the city come to eat. They eat um, salad from the leaves and petals of the sunflower, then they eat the seeds, and then they can, you can make bread out of um, sunflower seeds as well, so. There's also bread available at the store, and then there's glasses of oil because one of the main ex one of the main products that is made from sunflowers is sunflower seed oil. And so you know how like um, in the Mediterranean. Every
Thank you.